Today's tip is to fill up on fiber. Fiber is an indigestible complex carbohydrate. Go back and listen to episode four for more on carbohydrates. Fiber is what's left of a food after digestion and doesn't provide energy in the form of calories. The National Academy of Sciences recommends a total daily fiber intake of 25 grams for women and 38 grams for men between the ages of 18 and 59. The average American eats 10 to 15 grams of fiber per day. So for many of us, we have a little work to do. So how do we improve our daily fiber intake? Well, as you know, I believe knowledge is power. So let's first learn a little more about fiber, then we'll get to the tips. Feel free to skip ahead if you don't want the nitty gritty details. So fiber is commonly classified as soluble or insoluble, which is determined by how well it dissolves in water. It's considered a prebiotic because it feeds the healthy bacteria in your intestinal tract. Soluble fiber dissolves in water to form a gel-like material and can help lower blood cholesterol and glucose levels because it slows the absorption of fats and sugars. Soluble fiber is found in oats, peas, beans, apples, citrus fruits, carrots, barley, and psyllium. Insoluble fiber is a type of fiber that promotes the movement of material through your digestive system and increases stool bulk. It doesn't dissolve in water. If you have trouble with constipation or irregularity, then insoluble fiber can help you out. Whole wheat flour, wheat bran, nuts, cauliflower, green beans, and potatoes are good sources of insoluble fiber. So, not too complicated, right? Now here is where the tips come in. How do you fit more fiber in without feeling like a beaver chewing on trees all day? Well, start with adding some easy sources of fiber like fresh fruits and veggies. Raspberries pack the biggest bang for your buck with eight grams of fiber per cup. Now you're already a third of the way there. Pears and apples have six and four grams, respectively, as long as you keep the skin on. An avocado is considered a superfood for a reason. Not only is it a healthy fat, it also packs 4.6 grams of fiber per half. Next, you can try eating your fruits and veggies first. I hate to say it, but my parents were right. You don't want to fill up on the rest of your meal and leave no room for veggies. If you start your meal with your serving of vegetables, then you guarantee to get them in. Then you can continue on with the protein and other carbs. Another tip is to snack on nuts and seeds. Almonds are nutrient dense and also have three grams of fiber per ounce. And have you ever tried chia seeds? These amazing tiny black seeds have 11 grams of fiber per ounce and are also full of omega-3s and protein. Just add a tablespoon or so to thicken sauces or as an egg substitute or sprinkle over top of cereal, yogurt, veggies, or rice dishes. Finally, try more recipes that include beans. One cup of cooked beans can provide up to 75% of your daily fiber needs. And the best part is if you buy them canned without salt, you can skip the soaking and cooking steps. Follow the link in the show notes for a quick and delicious high fiber meal bursting with beans. Now, you know that, fi that high fiber foods are good for you, good for your health. But be careful, adding too much fiber too quickly can leave you gassy and bloated, and who wants that? So start small and increase the fiber in your diet gradually over a few weeks. This allows the natural bacteria in your digestive system to adjust to the change. Also, drink plenty of water to keep everything flowing smoothly. So there it is. Filling up on fiber can help you stabilize blood sugar levels, lower cholesterol, keep you fuller longer, and help you manage your weight, 
Willpower not required.